Exploring the depths of space has always been a quest that stretches the boundaries of human understanding. And we are now closer to achieving this goal than ever before in our history, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. Sharp images of distant cosmic phenomena are now helping us shape and refine our understanding of the cosmic web like never before. And now, a grand revelation is all set to change everything. The James Webb Telescope has just detected lights from another civilization 7 trillion miles from Earth. Hang tight as we explore the implications of this startling discovery. Launched on December 25, 2021, from the Guyana Space Center, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is a monumental leap in astronomical capabilities. Operated jointly by NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency, this cutting-edge observatory was named after James E. Webb, a key figure in NASA's history. NASA's long-standing accomplishments in space exploration laid the foundation for the ambitious JWST program. This was not the first time something like this happened though. The Hubble Space Telescope, a NASA flagship launched in 1990, offered groundbreaking insights into the cosmos, propelling the quest to delve deeper into space. The Hubble Space Telescope, or HST, stands as an emblem of humanity's quest to comprehend the cosmos. Its primary objective centered on unraveling the universe's mysteries, capturing awe-inspiring images, and conducting groundbreaking scientific research. It was launched to overcome the limitations imposed by Earth's atmosphere on astronomical observations. The idea was to achieve unprecedented clarity and precision in observing distant celestial objects. Earth's atmosphere distorts and blurs the light reaching ground based telescopes, limiting their ability to capture sharp images of cosmic phenomena. Astronomers wanted to bypass this distortion by placing a telescope above the atmosphere. The HST added to the success of earlier space missions and scientific studies, like the orbiting astronomical observatory missions and the Apollo lunar landings, which emphasized the advantages of space based observations. Moreover, advancements in technology, especially in optics and space exploration, played a pivotal role. Scientists developed cutting-edge mirror technology and precision instruments capable of operating in the harsh conditions of space. The HST was designed to carry high-resolution cameras, spectrographs, and other specialized equipment to capture and analyze light from celestial objects with exceptional accuracy. It operates in low Earth orbit, specifically at an altitude of about 340 miles or 550 kilometers above the Earth's surface. This orbit allows it to circumnavigate the planet approximately every 97 minutes. From here, it captured numerous groundbreaking images and made significant observations across various astronomical fields. For example, in 1995, Hubble focused on a seemingly empty area of space for 10 days revealing thousands of galaxies in a tiny patch of the sky, showcasing the abundance and diversity of galaxies in the universe. It also captured the iconic Eagle Nebula's Pillars of Creation image in 1995, which showcased towering columns of gas and dust where new stars were forming. In 2003 and 2004, Hubble captured an even deeper and more detailed image of the universe, the ultra-deep field, revealing galaxies dating back to just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. It also observed the atmospheres of exoplanets orbiting stars outside our solar system and detected traces of water and organic molecules, hinting at their potential for habitability. The HST also monitored the evolution of the closest observed supernova, SN 1987A, providing unprecedented insights into the life cycle of massive stars. But most of all, the Hubble Space Telescope played a pivotal role in confirming and refining our understanding of key cosmological concepts like the Big Bang and the expansion of the universe. By observing distant galaxies and the cosmic microwave background radiation, the HST provided compelling evidence supporting the Big Bang theory. The Hubble also observed redshift or the stretching of light waves of distant galaxies, and this allowed scientists to measure how fast they were moving away. This data revealed that galaxies farther away were receding at higher speeds, demonstrating that the universe is indeed expanding, as we had predicted earlier. Additionally, the telescope's observations contributed to refining the estimation of the rate of this expansion. This is best explained by the Hubble constant, 
which represents the rate at which the universe is expanding. It quantifies the relationship between the distance of galaxies from us and their recessional velocity. It was initially estimated by astronomer Edwin Hubble in the 1920s. Subsequent observations from the Hubble Space Telescope refine this constant. Over time, different measurement techniques and observations have provided different estimates of this constant. The discrepancy in these measurements is an ongoing area of research, and so far, we don't have a clear answer to this. These observations and discoveries, among many others, not only expanded our knowledge of the universe, but also provided captivating and awe-inspiring images that captured the public's imagination and deepened our understanding of cosmic phenomena. Naturally, NASA wanted to put a successor to the Hubble out there to surpass its achievements. This happens to be the JWST. NASA's scientific endeavors extended beyond Hubble, of course, encompassing missions exploring our solar system's planets, moons, and beyond. Projects like the Mars rovers, Voyager missions, and the exploration of celestial bodies have honed NASA's expertise in space exploration, fueling the innovation and technological advancements integral to the JWST's conception and construction. Launching the JWST is thus one of the many remarkable accomplishments of the USA's National Space Agency, and it has brought us much closer to understanding the nature, origins, and eventual fate of the universe. Unlike its predecessor, the JWST is designed to capture long-wavelength visible light through mid-infrared wavelengths, providing a broader and clearer view of the cosmos. Recently, the JWST made a groundbreaking discovery that has captivated the scientific community and the public alike. The telescope detected an extraordinary phenomenon, a cluster of lights from a planet located an astounding 7 trillion miles away from Earth. Based on spectral analysis, scientists are positive that the planet in question, WASP-96b, may host extraterrestrial life. The revelation challenges conventional astronomical assumptions, igniting excitement and curiosity about the existence of alien populations beyond our solar system. The discovery has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, prompting a re-evaluation of our understanding of cosmic phenomena and the potential for life beyond Earth. To comprehend the sheer scale of this discovery, it's essential to emphasize the staggering distance of 7 trillion miles or approximately 1,140 light-years from Earth. This remarkable distance underscores the JWST's unparalleled ability to peer deep into the universe, capturing details from an inconceivable vantage point. It redefines the limits of our observational reach and reshapes our understanding of what lies beyond our immediate cosmic neighborhood. And this is no coincidence. The primary purpose of the JWST is to serve as a revolutionary space observatory, surpassing the capabilities of the Hubble Space Telescope. The JWST was meticulously engineered to peer through cosmic dust clouds and observe distant celestial objects more clearly, unveiling hidden cosmic phenomena and unlocking unprecedented insights into the universe's origins and evolution. It is adorned with an array of groundbreaking capabilities and cutting-edge features that distinguish it as a technological marvel. It boasts a massive 6.5-meter diameter primary mirror, composed of 18 hexagonal mirror segments made of gold-plated beryllium. Equipped with advanced infrared cameras, including the near-infrared camera and the mid-infrared instrument, the JWST can capture images and data across a broad spectrum of infrared wavelengths. These instruments enable scientists to study the formation of stars, galaxies, and planetary systems in unprecedented detail. It also employs a sophisticated five-layer sun shield made of captain and other high-tech materials to shield its sensitive instruments from the sun's heat and light. This shield maintains the telescope's operating temperature at an astonishingly frigid minus 266.75 degrees Celsius, crucial for its infrared observations. Positioned at the L2 Lagrange point, approximately 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, the JWST orbits the Sun rather than Earth, providing a stable and unobstructed view of the cosmos. This strategic positioning ensures minimal interference from Earth's atmospheric disturbances and heat. With its unprecedented capabilities and state-of-the-art instrumentation, it eclipses previous observatories, revolutionizing humanity's ability to study the universe.
One of its key goals is to study the atmospheres of exoplanets, searching for signs of habitability or the presence of essential molecules, such as water and methane that might indicate the potential for life. As it races to meet radiations from inconceivable distances, it also peers back in time to the earliest epochs of the universe. This is where the JWST captures light from the first galaxies, stars, and cosmic structures that formed billions of years ago, unraveling the universe's origins and evolution. Through detailed observations of star-forming regions and galaxies, the JWST has also helped us advance our understanding of the processes driving the birth and evolution of stars and the assembly of galaxies across cosmic history. In essence, the JWST's mission extends far beyond the realms of our solar system, seeking to explore and understand the vast, diverse, and ever-expanding cosmic web all around us. The JWST has unveiled several groundbreaking discoveries that have reshaped our understanding of the cosmos, and they all deserve a mention before we dive into the most shocking of all. The telescope has recently captured detailed images of Stefan's Quintet, a group of five galaxies located around 290 million light-years from Earth. Four of them are engaged in a cosmic dance, gravitationally interacting and even colliding with each other. One of these galaxies is closer to Earth than the rest, positioned about 40 million light-years away. The remarkable proximity of these galaxies within the cluster allows scientists to witness their intricate gravitational interplay. These observations revealed galaxies in the process of merging, and this has offered us invaluable insights into the dynamics of galaxy interactions, the formation of stars, and the mysteries of dark matter that bind these galaxies together. Moving on, the telescope also unveiled a detailed image of the Carina Nebula, showcasing a star-forming region approximately 7,600 light-years away. The images show a vast region of gas, dust, and stellar nurseries fostering the birth of new stars. Spanning over 300 light-years, this celestial expanse hosts a plethora of stellar activity, birthing stars far more massive than our Sun. Among its notable features is Ada Carini, a binary star system whose eruptions in the 19th century resulted in one of the brightest stars in the sky for a brief period. The Carina Nebula thus remains a captivating celestial canvas offering a deeper understanding of stellar birth, evolution, and the formation of planetary systems within these stellar nurseries. The most recent image from the JWST offers unprecedented clarity, allowing scientists to visualize the cosmic cliffs and structures within the nebula aiding in the study of star formation and nebular dynamics. Moreover, through its observations of the Southern Ring Nebula, the JWST revealed a second star in the nebula's binary system, enhancing our understanding of the nebula's composition and dynamics. The Southern Ring Nebula, also known as the Eight-Burst Nebula, is situated approximately 2,500 light-years away in the southern skies. Its distinct figure-eight shape, formed by the expulsion of gas and dust from a dying star, has captivated stargazers for centuries. Within this nebula lies a dying star, visible at the center of the bluish haze. Interestingly, recent observations from the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed a second star nestled adjacent to the prominent blue-hued star. While astronomers were aware of the nebula's binary nature, the newfound clarity provided by the JWST unveils this previously obscured second star, enriching our understanding of the nebula's structure and the dynamics within this stellar environment. To top it all, another remarkable deep field image has surfaced recently, and this time, it's a galaxy cluster called SMAC 0723. SMAC 0723 is a striking assemblage of galaxies situated approximately 5 billion light years away from Earth. It is a part of the Abel 773 galaxy cluster and a window to the early universe, showcasing a cluster of galaxies that existed when the cosmos was much younger. The JWST's observation of SMAC 0723 has provided astronomers with a unique opportunity to study the formation and evolution of galaxies in the early stages of the universe's history. The information gathered from this distant cluster aids in deciphering the intricate processes governing galaxy evolution unraveling the cosmic narrative that has shaped the vast structures observed in the cosmos today. There is much to impress you here. Each of these discoveries underscores the JWST's transformative impact on astronomy, 
pushing the boundaries of observational capabilities and delivering invaluable insights into distant celestial objects, galaxy formation, exoplanet atmospheres, and the early universe. These findings have ignited excitement within the scientific community, paving the way for further exploration and discoveries with this extraordinary space observatory. But, of course, there's much more from where that came from. The prospect of alien life and the chance of making first contact. The JWST has provided spectrographic data of WASP-96b, an exoplanet located approximately 1,150 light-years, or approximately 7 trillion miles away. This data analysis revealed the presence of water vapors in the planet's atmosphere, despite its inhospitable temperatures, indicating the potential for alien life. To unveil this find of a century, the JWST's primary capability in detecting infrared wavelengths played a pivotal role. Its instruments, particularly the near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument, are highly sensitive to faint infrared signals. The telescope employed spectroscopic analysis, dissecting light into its constituent wavelengths. Exoplanetary spectroscopic analysis, such as the one conducted here, involves the study of light emitted or absorbed by exoplanetary atmospheres, enabling scientists to infer crucial information about their compositions, temperatures, and potential habitability. It relies on the examination of a planet's spectra, which is the breakdown of its light into distinct wavelengths. This data is obtained when a planet transits or passes in front of its host star from Earth's perspective. During transit, a fraction of the star's light passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere, interacting with its chemical elements and molecules. As this light traverses the atmosphere, certain wavelengths get absorbed by specific chemical elements or molecules present in the planet's atmosphere. These unique absorption features or spectral lines appear as dark bands in the exoplanet spectrum, indicating the wavelengths of light that have been absorbed. By analyzing these absorption lines, scientists can deduce the elements or compounds present in the exoplanet's atmosphere. Each element or molecule exhibits a distinct fingerprint in the spectrum, allowing astronomers to identify and quantify their presence. It also helps us determine the exoplanet's temperature profile and atmospheric properties. The study of specific spectral features, such as water vapor, methane, carbon, 